Though the storm also wiped out power, of course, to thousands. At one point, more than 100,000 families were in the dark. That number has dropped since yesterday. Right now, Eversource still, though, reporting more than 67,000 outages. And you can see all the towns highlighted in this map right behind me. The darker the color, the more outages. Thousands of families, places like Newtown, New Fairfield, and Southbury dealing with the issue. Meantime, more power is beginning slowly but surely to be restored in Hamden, but the cleanup is still a very, very slow process, and that's where we find News 8's Ken Pierce this morning. Hi, Ken. And Keith, I certainly don't have to tell you there is so much damage in the town of Hamden. We can only give you a little snapshot of it, but let me give you the picture we've got right here. This is Gaylord Mountain Road right behind us here, and you can see on the other side of that tree truck, there is a tree that snapped right in half, and the top half of it came down over Gaylord Mountain Road, got caught up in some wires. The wires are the only thing keeping it from being down on top of the road. Now, that tree truck only showed up here about a minute ago. We're not sure if it's here to actually fix this problem or if it's just trying to get down that road. Uh, be a little bit ironic if the tree truck had to turn around because of a downed tree. So we're going to keep an eye on that. Another ironic thing is we are right next to Broken Arrow Nursery, a place that grows plants and trees, and yet it has a problem with trees. These big ones that came down, this is one of several just in our line of sight here that we can see. Look at the size of that root ball. That massive tree coming down right on top of the smaller trees and plants growing behind there. And all over town, people are just amazed at the power of this storm. I mean, it kind of looks like a dinosaur came through and just knocked everything over. Property is always replaceable. People aren't. The UI guys look like they're working real hard and all the tree cutting guys. I just hope people realize that. And one of the things that people are dealing with all over Hamden, certainly a lot of trees hit their homes, causing holes in the roofs. And as Gil predicted yesterday, it's the last thing you need when you've got a hole in your roof, more rain. But that is exactly what we are experiencing overnight and this morning as well. Now, you can see them uh, directing this uh, tree truck right here. Uh, I don't think he's here to fix this problem. I think the tree truck just couldn't get down this road because of a downed tree. If the tree truck can't get through, there's probably spots on your drive you're going to find that you can't get through this morning. So watch out for things like this, trees and wires down, covering all or part of roads. Watch out this morning. The cleanup's still very much underway. We're live in Hamden. I'm Kent Pierce. Back to you. It is another complicated commute, Kent. Thank you. And we want to head to Southbury, Oxford area now, where they're also dealing with issues this morning. That's where we have News 8's Brian Spiros live with more on what they're waking up to right now. Brian, good morning. Hey, Laura, good morning. Yeah, it is a mess in the Southbury, Oxford area. We are in Oxford right now, right along uh, Seth Den Road. And I want you to take a look outside so you can get an idea of what some communities are dealing with. Going up this hill, this is a heavily wooded residential area. Um, some of the telephone poles are tipped over. A lot of trees are down. And then we come upon scenes like this. If you look directly ahead, you could see the trees down, power lines are down. And this is just one area. We can't even get past this because of the Jeep that we're in uh, and the equipment that we have on top of it. Low, everything is very low lying in this area and uh, barely passable as you could tell right now by the way everything looks. Seems like these obviously going on across the state. This area hit very hard as we know the National Weather Service confirms that an EF1 tornado it did touch down in the Southbury Oxford area with winds right around 100 miles per hour. You could see the power lines here directly in front of us. This is just an absolute mess. Let's take a look at some of the reported photos that were sent in to us. Those will also give you an idea of the damage that was left behind. We were in Southbury just a short time ago. Uh, the roads in some of those areas are so bad, uh, we couldn't stay there because we sh couldn't be driving on them. We also had no cell service where we were, uh, but there were transformers literally lying on the road from when those telephone poles came crashing down. So crews have a lot of work ahead of them in those areas. Uh, just to give you an idea of what people are dealing with this morning, according to Eversource in Southbury, Southbury nearly 10,000 customers remain without power. In Oxford, that number is right around 4,300 customers uh, driving up through 
through Seymour. Again, Oxford uh, and Southbury. Many traffic lights at intersections are out there. Stop signs that were put there. I imagine it's going to be very hectic in those areas as we head through the morning commute. Um, and many of the businesses and the shopping plazas as well are completely dark, those areas without power. If we can come back live now, again, we are along Seth Den Road. Uh, this is a road that was uh, heavily damaged during the storm trees and power lines down. So an absolute mess. The cleanup is underway. And I mentioned crews, utility crews and tree crews, and a lot of homeowners have their work cut out for them as we head through the coming days. Reporting live this morning from Oxford, I'm Brian Spiros. Laura, back to you.